Let's welcome in one of the top arms in the 2025 recruiting cycle, the number two ranked quarterback in the country from Brentwood Academy right here in Nashville, Tennessee. We welcome in George McIntyre. Welcome. Yes, sir. I appreciate y'all having me on. Hey, George, what's it like kind of being you? You know, you're entering your junior year of high school, but you're also talking to some of the best coaches in America being recruited by some of the best teams in America. Uh, yes, sir. First and foremost, I'm very grateful for that. You know, I think the man above for that. But it's uh, it's definitely, definitely a great experience. You know, getting getting advice from uh, those big time head coaches on a daily daily basis is a good feeling. What's been one of the most surreal moments for you? Like when you realize, like, oh man, I'm on the phone with so and so. Um. Yeah. Def definitely say. Uh, probably my my uh, my first big offer was like Michigan, and it was uh, given to me in person by. Uh, by Coach Harbaugh on the field at uh, FIU. And that, that was a great feeling. And then also like my first time in uh, Coach Saban's office. All right, yeah, I know you had a busy summer. You were you were taking a lot of visits, but you know, you gotta put what matters first and that's football. What did you work on most in terms of your game this off season? Inside Scoop fans, listen up. Tailgate season is here and I need to tell you about these bird dog shorts that I've been wearing. Bird dogs were the big winner for summer for me, and I'm rolling with them right into the fall as well. You guys know I wear them to work. I wear them to golf. I brought them on vacation with me. So, of course, I wore my bird dogs to the first tailgate of the year. I didn't pull up to lot B in my old stiff khakis. Are you crazy? Nope. I wore my bird dogs instead, and I'm glad I did. It's still hot out there, and just because football is here, it doesn't mean that fall is too. It's still swampy out there, but not in my bird dogs. You see, bird dogs has a great cloud knit fabric that looks just like a nice pair of khakis, but much more flexible, and most importantly, it keeps you cool and dry, even for a noon kickoff. So here's what we're gonna do. I need you to go to birddogs.com forward slash Josh, or enter promo code Josh, for a bird dog tech hat with your order. And guess what? I got one right here. Wore it to play golf over the weekend. I love it. It's light. It fits great. Bird dog tech hat. All you got to do is go to birddogs.com forward slash Josh or promo code Josh for a bird dog hat. You won't want to take your bird dogs off. We promise you. Yeah, um, it was definitely kind of harder to just focus fully on football right after the season got out because of basketball. But as soon as basketball was over, I was... Um, throwing uh, three to four times a week and then lifting every day. So definitely uh, footwork and uh, getting stronger. All right, you took a lot of visits this off season. You were at Alabama, you were at Michigan, you were at Clemson, you were at Georgia, you were at LSU, you were all over the place. You got to see a lot of different schools. And this weekend, you're gonna make your first visit of the season. I'm jealous. You're going to Texas versus Alabama to watch that battle. Um, where does Alabama stand in your recruitment? You know, I feel like Alabama's done a really good job ever since uh, Coach Reese has uh, gotten the job there. Uh, we've been on the phone quite a bit, you know, been there, down there a couple times since. And, uh, you know, just being able to talk to Coach Saban and all the resources they have there. They have a lot of big time coaches, so it's definitely good going down there. And, you know, you're located here in Nashville, Tennessee, and the Tennessee Volunteers are playing some of the best football in your lifetime. You know, uh, do you feel, well, I don't, I don't want to say pressure, but what do you think of staying in state and playing for the Tennessee Volunteers? Yeah, I think I've seen what Tennessee's done uh, with the 24 class, kind of locking down the state, all the guys that they wanted to get, they got mostly all of them. So that's impressive for, for me to see. And then, uh, you know, being an in-state kid growing up here, I, I wouldn't say I grew up a Tennessee fan, mm -hmm. but I've always watched from, from afar and, um, and uh, you know, kind of seeing like, the chance from when they're bad to when they're good and how special that fan base can be when they're good like now is uh is definitely really cool yeah and then there's a third team a lot of people talk about in your recruitment and that's lsu uh what's your relationship like with that staff yeah that's uh coach sloan he's uh he's one of the best best out there he's a great recruiter great great coach great guy and uh I just I really enjoyed being at LSU. Uh, got a couple friends down there now that are also recruits, and uh, a couple of them are committed. So uh, yeah, it's been great every time going down there. I talked to Coach Kelly quite a bit, and it's kind of a kind of a family feel with their their uh, staff. Yeah. Uh, I like to watch football. Everybody that's watching this, they love to watch college football as well. You love college football, but I have a feeling we all watch the game kind of differently. So when you sit down to watch a college football game, what are you focusing on? Um, I come kind of watching the systems, like how the, how they operate, and every, you know the goal is to score a touchdown, but they do it many different ways mm -hmm. from the NFL down to college down to high school. So um, you know, just kind of seeing everybody's different system and what they like to do. All right, what other games do you want to get to this fall? Um, 
I think uh, definitely LSU night game, probably at the Arkansas game. And then uh, Tennessee versus Texas A&M at Tennessee. That'll be a big one. And then uh, I'm going to try to get out to UCLA game as well. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, when it comes to your group of schools, you know, you have interest in a lot. When do you plan on narrowing things down and kind of focusing in on a group? Um, as far as like releasing a list, uh, I don't know. I've been saying I'm going to do it for a while, but we'll see. Um, you know, I feel like it doesn't really matter what's out on Twitter. It matters more what's, uh, you know, in my heart and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. All right. Do you have a leader right now? Um, I wouldn't say so. I'd say I'm kind of wide open. I don't think I'm close to a decision, but uh, yeah, there's definitely some favorites. All right. So, George, what is it when it comes down to making a decision? What's one of the most important factors for you? Most important factors? I would say just kind of like, uh, I'd say development's a big, big part of it. Uh, kind of like a family feel as well, uh, like room and uh, kind of are they on a winning trajectory where they're going to either start winning or keep winning. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's a lot easier to do, when, do it when you're winning. Yeah, definitely. All right. I don't want to put any pressure on you. This is the last question. Yeah. Uh, 25 quarterbacks, top the uh, class of 25, are coming off the board left and right. Yeah. When do you plan on letting the people know when you're going to commit? Um, you know, I really don't know. I don't, I don't have a set date where I feel like I have to be committed by. Um, I don't think I'm going to let a school rush, rush me into a commitment. No, I'm just kind of, kind of, kind of feel it out. And I think when I know, I'll know. All right. So, so do you think it'll be like before your senior year? Do you think it'll, you'll take it all the way to signing day of your senior year? You know, like, no. like what's the time frame here? Yeah, it'll probably be before my senior year. That's ideal. I guess, I would say. All right. Yes, sir. There you have it. George McIntyre from Brentwood Academy joining us live in studio. Appreciate that, George. Yes, sir. Of course. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that content, be sure to subscribe to the On3 Recruits channel. We have a new page dedicated only to recruiting. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now.